Thermodynamics in Biosystem Module 4 Properties of Pure Substance Segment 2 Phase Change Processes With me, Yusuf from School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology Bandung Previously, we have discussed about phases of a pure substance In this segment, we will discuss about the phase change processes Compressed liquid and saturated liquid Let's consider a piston cylinder device containing liquid water at 20 degrees C and one atmospheric pressure as shown in the left figure. Under these conditions, water exists in the liquid phase and it is called a compressed liquid or a subcooled liquid which means that it is not about to vaporize. Heat is now transferred to the water until the temperature rises. As the temperature rises, the liquid water expands slightly and so its specific volume increases. To accommodate this expansion, the piston moves up slightly. The pressure in the cylinder remains constant at one atmospheric pressure during this process since it depends on the outside barometric pressure and the weight of the pistons, both of which are constant. Water is still a compressed liquid at this stage since it has not started to vaporize. As more heat is transferred, the temperature keeps rising until it reaches 100 degrees C as shown in the right figure. At this point, water is still a liquid, but any heat addition will cause some of the liquid to vaporize. That is, a phase change process from liquid to vapor is about to take place, and this is called a saturated liquid. Once boiling starts, the temperature stops rising until the liquid is completely vaporized. The temperature will remain constant during the entire phase change process if the pressure is held constant. During a boiling process, the only change we will observe is a large increase in the volume and a steady decline in the liquid level as a result of more liquid turning to vapor. Saturated vapor and superheated vapor. Midway about the vaporization line as shown in the left figure, the cylinder contains equal amounts of liquid and vapor. As we continue transferring heat, the vaporization process continues until the last drop of liquid is vaporized as shown in the middle figure. At this point, the entire cylinder is filled with vapor that is on the borderline of the liquid phase. Any heat loss from this vapor will cause some of the vapor to condense. A vapor that is about to condense is called a saturated vapor. Therefore, state 4 is a saturated vapor state. A substance at states between 2 and 4 is referred to as a saturated liquid vapor mixture since the liquid and vapor phases coexist in equilibrium at these states. Once the phase change process is completed, we are back to a single phase region again, and this time it is vapor. And further transfer of heat results in an increase in both the temperature and the specific volume as shown in the right figure. A vapor that is not about to condense is called a superheated vapor. This constant pressure phase change process is illustrated on a TV diagram as shown in the figure. If the entire process described here is reversed by cooling the water while maintaining the pressure at the same value, the water will go back to state 1, retracing the same path and in so doing, the amount of heat released will exactly match the amount of heat added during the heating process. In our daily life, water implies liquid water and steam implies water vapor. In thermodynamics, however, both Water and steam usually means H2O. Saturation temperature and saturation pressure. At a given pressure, the temperature at which a pure substance changes phase is called the saturation temperature. At a given temperature, the pressure at which a pure substance changes phase is called the saturation pressure. Saturation tables that list the saturation pressure against the temperature or the saturation temperature against the pressure are available for practicality for all substances. The amount of energy absorbed or released during a phase change process is called the latent heat. The amount of energy absorbed during melting is called the latent heat of fusion 
or amount of energy released during freezing. The amount of energy absorbed during vaporization is called the latent heat of vaporization or energy released during condensation. During a phase change process, pressure and temperature are obviously dependent properties and there is a definite relation between them as shown in this slide. A plot of P saturation versus T saturation such as the one given for water as shown in the right figure is called the liquid vapor saturation curve. The saturation temperature increases with the saturation pressure as can be seen from the figure. In the next segment, we will discuss about property diagrams. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.